You know, it may come as a surprise to you, but the biggest lie of Barack Obama's presidential career was not the, if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor, and if you like your plan, you can keep your plan, Obamacare fiasco. Well, that was huge because there are some 47 times that we have Obama on video saying those words. This lie has much bigger consequences. Barack Obama's biggest lie was that on February 8, 2012, FBI Director Robert Mueller and various Islamic organizations met and then subsequently agreed to purge all training material determined by a group of subject matter experts to be offensive to Muslims. The purged material included references linking the Muslim Brotherhood to terrorism, tying Al-Qaeda to the 1993 World Trade Center and Kobar Tower bombings, and suggesting that young male immigrants of Middle Eastern appearance may fit the terrorist profile best. All this information is referenced in the Judicial Watch special report, which I link to in the description below this video. It is entitled, U.S. Government Purges of Law Enforcement Training Material Deemed Offensive, to Muslims. A purge of training material later spread to the Pentagon and affected the entire U.S. military. Just the fact that we are in a battle for Western civilization against radical Islamic terrorism, and we even have to have a discussion about FBI training material being purged of references that are deemed offensive to Muslims, that is beyond irresponsible. If you aren't even allowed to be told about the nature of your adversary. How in the world are you supposed to effectively fight them? How's that supposed to happen? The issue further gets complicated when Obama administration officials were asked to appear before Congress in June of 2016 to explain themselves, to explain why they purged all references to Islamic terrorism and radicalism from public documents and Amazingly, the Obama administration steadfastly refused to appear before Congress. How were they allowed to get away with that? The biggest question, obviously, is why did this happen? Why was Barack Obama allowed to purposely feed propaganda to people being trained to fight terrorism and purposely mislead law enforcement and military personnel with false information as to who they were fighting and the ideological mindset of their enemy? And then, why were they allowed to completely ignore Congress when that legislative body asked them to explain themselves? You know, you could just say that Barack Obama was incredibly naive and glaringly ignorant when it came to the threat that he, and most importantly, America, were facing. Or, you could just say he absolutely did it on purpose. I think it's rather evident what Obama did. Thanks for watching, and if you would, please leave your comments in the comment section below this video. And if you would, please don't forget to subscribe to Conservative News here on YouTube.